Hey guys, welcome back to another Zero Linux video and this is a follow-up to lesson one where we talked about the YAD, yet another dialog scripting. I'm gonna uh, have a link to the previous video in the video's description below, so if you haven't watched it yet, feel free to do so now before we continue with this one. If you have watched it, all right, let's uh, continue. I'm just gonna give you a small short refresher here. This is the tool, my Nemesis tool for installing apps and drivers. And I'm gonna show you how it was. You tell the script that it's a bash script, then you tell it it's a YAD with a title that it's, you indicate it's a form, how many columns, width and height, with a description and an icon if you wish. This is not necessary. And the buttons with their labels, the fact that they're buttons and the script and end it with, always end it with an exit button. This is how he had it before. For the Arch and AUR packages, we mixed and matched in, in a single command with nothing but the command itself. So when you click the button, it will launch this command. It will run this command. What if I told you we can make it more uh, rich? This is how it is now. Zero Linux Arch AUR package installer. Select packages to install. Add another line, packages tools. Option one, if you, if you select option one, it will install your Arch packages. Option two, your AUR packages. I prefer to split the Arch packages from the AUR ones, just so I know which are which. I don't like to mix and match all in a single command. And a reboot tool, because some packages require a reboot. So here's what the what it looks like. I added a sleep, three seconds of sleep, to give myself an, uh, an option to uh, some time to cancel. Uh, because what if I selected the option by mistake? I want to cancel it. If you don't put sleep and an amount of seconds, you won't have time to cancel. It will immediately start running and you will cancel the operation mid uh, execution. So, I don't, uh, so that doesn't happen. I included a three second sleep timer. So now, it runs, it installs all your Arch, mainline Arch repository packages. Anything that's available on the Arch repositories or my repositories, my own repositories. Once that's done, another three seconds sleep. Of course, a description that says, I'm done, to indicate that it's done. And then it will reload the script via clear and end sh, sh mean uh, execute script, end the script. It relaunches the Arch script. So I can select the second option, which is AUR packages. And since, as I said before, I don't install any AUR packages because all the AUR packages I like, I repackage them and host them on my own repository so I can add them up top. And I use flat packs for, for the ones I don't find on the AUR. So I don't have anything. But if you, you do, in your case, you have some AUR packages, let's say drivers or uh, not drivers, uh, app, I mean, hardware applications or stuff like open RGB or to control your RGB and stuff like that, you can add them all over here. I say again, this script is not for zero Linux. This script can be used on any Arch-based system. And, and before, I, in the previous video, I forgot to mention that you can convert this to a Debian system. You just replace Pac-Man, for example, with apt install for Debian packages. Uh, for on Debian distros, you can replace it with DNF install for Fedora based system and so on. This is a very useful script and it's very customizable. You can use it on any Linux based system. Just replace Pacman, the Arch package manager, with any uh, uh, with the one that uh, is related to the distribution you're running. Debian is apt install, Fedora DNF install, you get the idea. This script is very customizable. You can use it, as I said, on any Linux-based system. I use it on Arch, so I use the Pac-Man system and the AUR help. For drivers, it used to be like this. Just install, uh, and with it being like that, it only works on one system. You have to modify it every time you want to run it on a different system. Now it's like that. Very, very useful. Zero Linux driver installer or whatever Linux driver installer. 
select drivers you want to install. Let's say you have an AMD system and an Intel system. So option one, install drivers for Ryzen system. And this is how it goes. Sleep three, pseudo Pac-Man remove Intel U-code since we don't, want, we don't need that U-code because our system is AMD based. Then start installing the drivers. Here on this system, I only have, I only require my NVIDIA GPU drivers. I have nothing else that require drivers. So I told it to install my NVIDIA GPU drivers and I use the TKG ones on Zero Linux. So it's dash T TKG. Then I tell it to a three, three second timer and then clear and reload the script so I can install my kernels because option three equals kernels. I use the same kernel on all my system. It's the TKG kernel because it's one of the best for me, for my system. So I tell it to install the TKG kernel and I use the Pac-Man because I have it on my own private repositories and it's not going to be shared with anyone. This is just for me because the kernel that's built is specific to my system. Option two, install drivers for my Intel system. You remove the AMD U code because it's an Intel based system and my Intel based systems, they're all the same. They use an older NVIDIA GPU, so I need the 470 series NVIDIA drivers. So I install the 470 series NVIDIA drivers. You're starting to get the idea, right? So you add options. You can add as many as you want. You can have up to a million options. I hope you don't, but you can have up to, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 options if you want. You have 10 computers, 10 laptops. You eat an option for, you add an option for each uh, device you have and you include what you want uh, the u code you want to remove and then whatever drivers you need you need printer drivers you need network drivers you add them to this line here and if they come from the aur because some drivers as we all know not all drivers make it to the mainline arch linux repositories you add yay or paru whichever you're using or trizen whatever uh, AUR helper you're using. And you tie, for example, like this. For some people who have an external Wi-Fi card that requires this driver, you just type this, yay dash S, and the name of the driver. But since I have it on the zero Linux repositories, I can add it to Pac-Man instead of the AUR. I can just add it right here, like that because it's available on my own repositories. But if you're using it on a distro that is not zero Linux, you have to add, you add, install it from the AUR. So you will have to have a separate option for the AUR. That's it. I hope uh, this wasn't uh, a very complex lesson. It's just a uh, continuation to the previous one. And in the last lesson, which is coming uh, on Friday, hopefully if I'm in good health, I will show you how to host this script, this uh, GUI script on your own GitHub. All right, and I'm gonna show you the output now. Update system now, type the password. It's gonna check for updates. Since I just updated like five minutes earlier, there's nothing. Installed in drivers, boy, you have this. You have the title, Select drivers to install, drivers tools, install drivers for my Ryzen system, option two, install drivers for Intel system, three, install the kernels, and four, reboot. You select the option and it will do what the option is indicated to do. Same thing for AUR, install my Arch packages, install my AUR packages, and reboot. I'm not gonna select anything here because it will proceed to start installing stuff, which I don't want it to right now, but you select either the system or beta. You will only get present the. You will only see this if you have the Flatpak beta repository enabled. Otherwise, it's going to immediately start installing your uh, Flatpaks. There you go. With that said, I hope uh, you like this type of content. Let me know in the comments below if you like, and. I keep saying this and I will keep repeating it. Let's ignite the discussion. Let's see if you like this con type of content, what other types of content you would like me uh, to create to make this channel much better. I'll bid you farewell. 
And before I go, I would love you if you subscribed, if you're not subscribed already, and check the bell icon to be notified of new con any new content I release. I will be releasing content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three videos a week. Let's see how that goes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.